Nike, Adidas, Apple, and locally headquartered Russell Brands. These are four of the more than 20 companies that represent the membership of the Fair Labor Association. It's been more than two and a half years since the FLA put a Russell Brands manufacturing facility in Honduras on probation. Since then, Russell has revamped their labor agreements and allowed workers to organize in many of their facilities. Among some of the improvements, Russell has monetarily compensated more than 95% of the 2,000 Honduras labor workers who were fired. Working conditions have improved in the facilities with the FLA monitoring safety, health, and organizational issues. But Russell's Honduran manufacturing plant is only one of the facilities WKU receives apparel from. Countries like Mexico, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Jordan, Lesotho, Thailand, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Pakistan, Turkmenistan, and China. In El Salvador, where shirts like these are produced, more than 75 complaints have been filed to the Fair Labor Association since 2008. Now we caught up with Teresa Chang, a member of the United Students Against Sweatshops organization, to find out if the whole thing is just a cover-up. Chang gave an endorsement for a second compliance organization, the Workers' Rights Consortium, or the WRC, as an alternative to the Fair Labor Association. So the Worker Rights Consortium, or the WRC, was actually created as an alternative to the Fair Labor Association because we found that the FLA, you know, for the very reason that the corporations um, who profit off these sweatshops were on the board of the FLA, that the FLA had actually, you know, has a track record of writing reports that are actually inaccurate or whitewash the companies themselves. And at the top of the list of the board of directors for the Fair Labor Association is Stan Blankenship. He represents and works for Russell Brands. The WRC has conducted five thorough reports in Russell Brands manufacturing plants. However, according to Russell's website, they do not acknowledge the WRC as an official compliance organization. According to various FLA reports, only 75% of countries that produce WKU apparel have been monitored by the FLA in the past decade. Teresa Chang argues that due to the WRC being a third-party unaffiliated organization, more detailed and accurate representations inside the manufacturing plants can be gathered. And many universities are taking note. More than 150 have made the change from the Fair Labor Association to the Workers' Rights Consortium. These include universities Show, like ready. Wisconsin, Southern Cal, and Vanderbilt. Yet to this day, WKU has not affiliated with the WRC. And we caught up with WKU Assistant Athletics Director Todd Stewart to see why WKU and Russell would be the right fit. That when those uh, allegations surfaced a number of years ago, certainly we were aware of that and, and we met with Russell and had some extensive conversations with them and we were assured that that, that would be addressed and we're very confident today that they have been. It's much more than a partnership. It's really like a neighbor that you have a great relationship with because Fruit of the Loom obviously is based in Bowling Green. They're right here in our backyard. And Russell Athletic is a, tre a tremendous partner, so to speak, for WKU Athletics.